Hi, welcome to another episode of Getting Into InfoSec Bytes, short videos under five minutes covering news and resources out there that will help you get into the information security field and cybersecurity career. The first off is the Thunder Spy vulnerability. And if you haven't heard about it already, it's a vulnerability in the Thunderbolt connector. Um, but I don't want to cover this specific topic itself. What I want to cover is the idea of threat modeling. And the thing is, and, and, and also I want to highlight um, the title of this article is not only does the title say what it's going to be and why it's not scary and what to do about it, because there is a lot of something called FUD out there. Uh, fear, uncertainty, and doubt. And that's not something that we as security engineers or security practitioners want to practice on an ongoing basis because we want to educate folks through information and data. And so going back to threat modeling, uh, what we're doing here is looking at what the threat is. Yes, there is a threat that someone can, with physical access to your Thunderbolt port, can take over your whole machine. And here is a proof of concept, POC, uh, showing that, uh, which is great. Um, and here's another one. But the idea is, okay, we know this is out there. We do know that if someone does have physical access to your device, it's practically game over. So that is somewhat known. And so knowing that as our threat model, we need to figure out what we need to do to protect ourselves against it. Do we just not use the computer? Yeah, that will fix it, but that's not really what we want to do. So one thing to get about it is enabling full disk encryption, for example. Okay, so enabling full disk encryption, it's something that one should be advocating for in any enterprise environment or any environment, frankly, it's like, it's like you know, default. Um, the good thing is it's by, by default on a Mac um, and it needs to be enabled in Windows. You do need Windows 10 Pro and above to get it enabled. In any case, uh, that's one way to prevent it. So again, here, you know, the article talks about what, to, what someone to do and you could enable um, full disk encryption. Of course, disable, disabling Thunderbolt would also do that. Um, turning off your machine when it's not in use. So these are things that you can do to um, protect yourself against physical access, no matter what the vulnerability is for the most part. Uh, I do want to highlight uh, the author of this article, Dan Gooden. Dan Gooden uh, is a really good Ars Technica uh, cybersecurity author, and he has some really good articles. I definitely recommend following him on Twitter. Um, definitely a really good resource um, on, on things that are out there. The next item I want to cover is Marcus Carey's post here. And um, what this talks about is, it, it do, you know, what he's saying is he doesn't care what degrees you have, what abil what um, how you got that ability. It's the fact that you do have that ability. And this is really good to know. It kind of relates to some of the, the, the video I talked about where, you know, getting a master's degree a little bit. But it's something to understand here is that, um, you know, this is, uh, you know, what I do want to highlight here is that although a hiring manager may have this view, uh, there's other things that may take into consideration or a company that may get in the way of a company hiring someone without a cert, for example, or, or whatever it may be. Um, I have definitely seen firsthand examples where HR departments will put on certifications on there because they've seen other um, HR departments do this or uh, what's even more common and uh, really not a really good practice is that before a job is opened, they'll, the company itself has a company-wide policy that requires specific certifications and sp uh, specific uh, degrees on there. Um, I've seen you know, principal engineers that were eligible for promotions, but were not given the promotions because they did not meet the bachelor's requirements that they had, that the company had. So these are some things to consider. Again, um, if you like these videos, uh, go ahead and like and subscribe. Let other people know about them. Really appreciate it. And uh, we'll see you again next time. Thanks. Bye.